for a tweeze loss on the other side. We'll be bringing you a lot of live look-ins and game updates between Tweez and Chaos as we move throughout this first set of games and able to force him out of bounds. And the good news for Drew, he says he needs to win this game and keep on winning. Well, so far this season against that EMB crew, which Safa is a part of, they have four members in the Ultimate League. True Boy is currently 2-0 and against both of these guys, against members of that crew, and he's only allowed 12 points in those games. He beat Safa earlier in this season, 34-7, to and then went on to beat Joke, 12-5. to He said in an inter interview that he feels like he has the remedy for this EMB offense. Let's see if he can be consistent with that, because so far he's backed up what he said. Well, he held Safa in that first game of the year to under 150 yards of total offense, including just 50 yards on the ground. But True's going to have it first, second and 10. And that's true to True's game plan. You're going to see here, he, he just likes to run the ball, minimize his risk, and play solid defense. It's, you know, he's young in age, but he plays an old man style with John Madden football. He's going to bring up a third and 10 after two straight stops by Safa. Let's take a look at the playbooks. What we got it here, guy? Yeah, so right now you got True Boy running the Arizona Cardinals offensive playbook. And you got Musafa Jones rocking that Harbaugh Baltimore defense. So three man front for Safa. Third and 10. We've seen the Arizona Cardinals playbook sort of give True a spark on offense. And Paul Richardson won't make the yard to gain. It's going to bring up a fourth and three decision time. He's going to go. They play early on, fourth down. And you're right, the first game he switched to that Arizona playbook this season. He was e able to beat Dub Dot Dubby for the first time, who was 0 4 against previously. Big play! Come on, man! Wow. And completes it at the 41 to Ingram. Oh, it was a questionable read, but Evan Ingram goes and makes a big play for True. You see the drag route. Open instead goes up top, and that's a big catch by Ingram. He'll drop that every now and then. Holds on to it for True's cash right there. And Gurley, power ahead for a few. It's going to bring up a second and six. <laughs> Saw Dubby in the interview. He said he would have Safa Jones on his squad because of the support he showed him. Safa rocking another knee to chair it up there, that knee EMP. Gurley, nobody even touched him as he works all the way down to the 25. And I love seeing that. When these guys show support for each other, it just shows the camaraderie in the community. We're, we're all competitors when we're on the virtual gridiron playing, playing games, but when that ends more often than not, we're just a bunch of people that share the same passion. And it's a great experience. You meet a lot of good people. So second and four, right here at the start of the red zone. And Gurley has been a workhorse thus far. Six carries for 24 yards. <laughs> this is what you expect to see from True. He told you he's going to minimize those risks, just continue to run the ball, look to get into the open field where he can show off his amazing stick work, and then play solid defense. There he goes. The and Mays! Oh my God! The backup running back! The budget play, a ball in on a budget, Mays! Not used to seeing him ball out. That's a 60 overall, 13 cap halfback, Scott. And not the block! block. Yeah. Talking about the scoop! Plays. And Ronnie nice. Lott! Wow. He's trying to bounce! Can Steve Young get there? No. No way. He's outing to the cripple. Uh, and he's done it all season long. There's another block kick for Safa, and that's worth two. Oh, that is rough for True. Open up the game, put together a biblical drive. And we want to ask yourself, why do I need to practice kicking? Why do I need that perfect kick? Well, there's another example. Yeah, and what Scott's talking about with the perfect kick is there's a certain way if you kick the ball at 100% accuracy, you'll see a little visual graphic on the kick meter and get your accuracy bar right in there. There's no chance for the defense to block the kick. Obviously not a perfect one here. And Safa capitalizes and jumps all over that. All the way to the cribbo. Work two points, now it's 
Six to two. What's Safa running on his playbooks? Well, he's been running the same playbook all tournament long. He's in that West Coast where he runs this scummy bunch. Scummy bunch, as I like to call it. West Coast playbook is one of the best versions of this offense. True boy walking that New England Patriots defensive playbook. Go! And he and there throws he a pick. It. Use a pick. And there's Darius Slay. He was one of our key players off the top. And he's already making a play. And True's got it at the 41 with a chance to strike again. Oh my gosh, I'm talking about the scummy bunch. I need a link with True Boy and find out what the defense is. He has EMB in this West Coast offense completely bagged. Oh man, if you're Ghost Madden or Joke, or Safa Jones, you gotta be worried about matching up against True. He looks fantastic on defense against this West Coast offense. Stretches it out. Got to lose a yard. Second and 11 upcoming for True. The reason I call it the scummy bunch is it's the only, the West Coast is the only playbook that has that dig halfback out play, Scott. And that play has a really tough post route in it that's a, a pain in the butt to defend. And like I said, it's the only playbook that has that route, so that's why you see a lot of the competitors go to it. And what a pass to Bo Jackson at the 19. True has come out three for three. Man, and if True gets his passing game going, forget about it. He's already good enough playing defense, running the ball. But he only gained 168 points last time, I mean 168 yards last time these guys met, but that was good enough to put up 34 points with those two takeaways. Yo. Spins his way to the 16. I'm telling you, one person that's ruined for Safa Jones to turn this game around and get it going. It's got to be Tweez over there playing chaos. Let's take a look at both of these games. 0-0. Zero, zero. Down at the 9-yard line is chaos. Trying to play spoiler and end Tweez's season. Talk to Chaos. He said he's good friends with True. There's nothing more he would like to do than do his friend a favor and play spoiler and knock off Tr Tr Twee so True clinches a playoff berth. And not to mention he's a full-time college student, so that extra thousand dollars, you know, that comes in handy. Yeah, that goes a long way at the bookstore. And he throws it away. We got third and seven. Can still get a first down here on the left side. Third and ten on the right, and it's going to be a first down for True. True just looking prolific today. He's playing some good John Madden football at the end of this season. Chaos over on the left. He's going to scramble. Weeds is on him. Can he get outside? First down. Oh, man. Usually when the defender's coming from right behind your quarterback, they can match that strip animation and poke it loose. Chaos fortunate that Tweed wasn't able to get his hand on True Boy ball. is, I mean, <laughs> how many times is he going to get tackled at the one-yard line this season? Oh, my God. Every time you think he's going to go in, doesn't make it. So that's the end of the quarter on the right side. And a touchdown on the left for Chaos. And with 25 seconds left in the quarter, Tweez is already behind the eight ball. Yeah, and Tweez talking to him this morning. He said he wished he just prepared a little bit more in this salary cap mode leading up to the Ultimate League. But he said that it's nobody's fault but his own. And we talked about it and he said, you know what? All I can do is just leave it all out there and give it what I got. So I, I don't expect the young Grizzly to give up and just lay down. He's going to fight in this game with his season life on the line. Take a look at it again at the one-yard line. And he will sneak and able to break the plane. There he is, Trey Horn, a.k.a. Tweez. Needs to win this game, and then he needs True to lose his last two games of the season. And I'll tell you what, if Tweez can win this game, and Safa can somehow make a comeback against True. True's next game 
would be against Eric Problem Wright, who's at the top of this Legends division. I need to be thinking maybe since they're buddies, something could happen there, but Problem's trying to get a buy. That's worth 15 extra grand. Exactly, Scott. Exactly. So there's going to be no shenanigans in that game. We're here at the end of the first. It's 7 nothing Chaos with the lead. True and Safa, 6-2 to two at the bottom of the first. In the start of the second quarter, it's six to two here in Division B between Safa Jones, who's already into the playoffs. True controls his own destiny with a win. And we last saw the drive had taken him all the way down to the one yard line, second and goal oh, yeah. after the interception of Safa. If you're <laughs> just joining us, Safa got two points by blocking an extra point and ran it all the way back with Ronnie Lott. Just going to sneak it in right here. Detroit, Detroit. Try to have Young. Now let's go. He might hand this Detroit, off. He has Detroit. not had good luck with a sneak. I rest my case. Yep. <laughs> I don't know what it is. You see problem put like somebody like Bo Jackson at center for these just to get some extra speed, some extra leverage. He doesn't do that. And that's right. Just hand it off, young fella. Touchdown. Wow. Oh, wow. Oh, again. I've never seen a guy with worse luck at the one-yard line. The virtual refs a point shaving for True. Just can't get it in. And he's got number 61, Rodney Hudson, 91 overall at that center, Scott. One of the best centers in the game, if not the best run blocker in all of John Madden football. True's been known to hold the Going door. outside, not oh. going to get a block. They call him the lion. You call him the <laughs> lion, but one thing we know about him is he's got a high post-play reaction rate, and you see him showing it off there as he gets pumped up with the fourth down stop. True tried to get sticky icky, and Soph is not having it. There's the emotion. Whoa. Whoa, man. Got big John Madden football going on all over the place. This is what the Ultimate League's about, one, Scott. One, one. First and ten now at the nine. Yeah, he's, he's, after the turnover on downs. I have never seen a guy with so many carries that it's just like, well, that's a touchdown. What? The, no. The crazy thing is his run game so crispy throughout the game. And then gets to the one yard line and his old line just decides to pee the pants. I mean, if you get down there again, first and goal at the one, I'm just taking, I'm taking a delay of game. Back me up to the six. I got better luck. Let's get a game update. Chaos looking to play spoiler here, keeping the ball on the ground. Rico taking an early two possession lead. He has a thousand reasons to stay focused. That is correct. 14 nothing. just under four minutes left in the second. You can hear the, the pep in their step over there. Those guys fueled by chicken biscuits this morning. That's, that's high, high quality energy. <laughs> First and 10. Chicken biscuits always boosted my morale. Yeah, I'm all the way up. Ball to 30 now for Safa. Hands it off to Herschel. Gets away from Larry Wilson, but can't get away from Talvin Smith. I mean, all this talking we do about food, we better get into the gyms and, and back it up. Yeah, we're, we're going in like this. We're embarrassing. We're, we're supposed to go play some basketball at some point. Evaluate that jump shot you were telling me about. Oh, it's, it's wet. It's way wet. We'll see. Third and three at the 37. True just continuing to play stingy defense. Oh, yeah. Kasafa fight for every yard he's getting out here. You know, maybe they can get a couple treadmills up here at the caster desk, maybe elliptical. Burn a few calories, call a few games. Uh oh, 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 oh got it to Drew! Another interception. Second of the game. And the true boy defense continues to dominate. 
We talk about topmadden.com and the tips and tricks they want to give you. If you're having trouble with the scummy bunch, you better go look up what Drew's doing because he's got it in a bag. Oh my goodness. Yeah, we saw Problem have success against Skimbo and that scum bunch. Wonder if True is taking a few plays out. Saw what Problem did to that bunch. And really, it, the only way to stop the scum bunch is tremendous user play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got to force your opponent into a bad read, kind of confuse them. And like you said, just have phenomenal user to take away multiple routes on a play. You can't just take away one route. All right, here we go. You got to be able to take away multiple routes with that user defender. Third and three. No, Trues in my defensive playbook. I like to run that New England Patriots defense. Both the hybrid fronts, double box action, low throw. So that'll move it to the 19. Over on the left, Chaos is down there again. Poor Tweez, man. Ultimately, season on the line. And Every time we check in, it's chaos marching on the door of a touchdown. And speaking of marching on the door of a touchdown, True Boy showing off that phenomenal stick work that we've been telling you about all season long. Can't get one yard, but if you need somebody to get 20 on the ground, he's your guy. Boy, could that True Boy run the ball. If I had his stick work back in my day, Scott, I'd never lose a game. All right, I'm exaggerating a little bit. But. To quote Forrest Gump, those guys at the barbershop, that boy show sure is a running fool. <laughs> and so now Soft will have an opportunity to answer, but over here between Tweez and Chaos, Chaos has the ball at the two. Field goal is as good as a touchdown right here. I know that math doesn't work out, but three possessions will be a dagger. Can't get in. Got to kick it. If you tweet, you got to go for a block kick here. We've seen you do it before. Yep, see, it's not perfect. He got the accuracy perfect, but he needed to see that white line on the kick meter. Yeah, that says 100 off to the side. That's the kick power. You need to hit that. You got to hit that and then in the accuracy window. There's two button presses there. You, li you like the button press, or you like the old school where you ha remember you had to use the right stick? Boy, that, that's, those were nightmares. Uh, well, back when they first switched it to the right stick, my crew members made me go buy the PGA Tiger Woods <laughs> game because <laughs> it helped me. Uh, it helped me, you know, practice that kicking. Go, I, I, I was buns at it. Come on. Well, we're gonna take a deep look at True's defense right here, and you're looking through his eyes, his adjustments, his play art. Look at that. You see how fast he's switching defenders, manually moving them around, setting things up. That's what you, if you want to play man in football at a high level, those are the type of adjustments you got to be able to wow. make. And that was actually not a great read. It's not it's just up. about calling the right defense, Scott. You got to call it, you got to set it up, you got to adjust out of it. These guys will call one defense, but they'll run it 16 different ways. See, this time he's got the safety up high. And look at him taking away two routes right there. Wow. One of the things that Safa could do right now is use the legs of Mariota. There's no spy. If you can get out of that pocket, maybe you make that user of True Boy have to respect. You see, here comes the loop-de-loop. -loop. You, see, you see that linebacker on the left standing next to True's user defender on that blitz. You see that angle? With that red line. Yeah, he's going to go across the center's eyes. There he goes. Here he comes. Oh, good block. And you see that defensive tackle, Leonard Williams, able to take on the center and the right guard. That allows that linebacker to loop in. Yeah, you, you see, see it right loops there. loops in, and then boom, big block. Herschel Walker able to pick that up. Here's third and four. Keep that. Run it back in and Trues all That's over this C coming. route. Come on. This C route through. out of the scum bunch that you see on that corner strike and PA post play. 
is so tough to stop, and True is just making it look easy. And a big fourth and four here for Safa. Outside linebacker Telvin Smith from the Jags. Played his college ball at Florida State. One of the fastest linebackers in the league. And not a bad Madden player to boot. Look at True. Sa Safa flips his play. True quickly switching on to defenders, moving him into place. Safa converts. You know, Telvin Smith showed up to play a little Madden with us at the NFL Network. And I was going to give it to him because he went to Florida State. I was going to give it to him. Showed up in some Jordan sixes. We were cooling from there on out. And there's another the drop ball. for Safa. Pass the ball. That, that oh, hurts man. if you Safa. You finally get some separation on that C route. Drew clicks on. Defender comes out, causes some traffic, and knocks it loose. Second and ten. Oh my gosh, True is just all over him. His quick on reaction and stick work on defense right now, Scott, has been top notch. So that'll bring up a third and ten. Should have been a pick. Doesn't only have stick work when running the ball. His lurking and click on right now is phenomenal. Look at him. Pick! Look at there him, he's clicking on that. everything! Come on. The I confidence is sky high on defense for True. And that'll cost Safa points once again. It's wild and the boys like to say, it's a box. I mean, you get a field goal right there. It's a one possession game. It's a real box though, Scott. Not one of them fake boxes. This is a real one. Yeah, now, you know, you leave a box out in the rain, it gets kind of flimsy. This is like a crispy box. Yeah. Brand new, all taped up. You can ship all kinds of stuff in this kind of box. It'll hold up. So second and seven, eight seconds to go if you're true. He's trying to break a run here right before the half. He's pulling up the passing play art here. That makes me nervous. Break the run. Audible's down to the run. 71 block somebody. Uh oh. Gets the timeout off. Anytime you, if you're true and you can get into the open field, this is why you want to That's do That's Larry it. Allen. Whoops. 71, what are you doing? Look at that. You don't want to click on your defender. My stick work versus the AI, I like me, True says. <laughs> Spins on him. First and ten. And he can pass here. He's got himself enough room now. I think the difference between True Boy's running game and Drini is Drini would have set that block up. He would have held some patience there and, and, and used Larry Allen. True likes to... Really kind of try to put somebody in the spin cycle. We're here at the half. 17 to nothing. Chaos trying to eliminate Tweez. And then it's 13 to 2. True with the lead over Safa here at the half. Start of the third quarter here between Safa and True. And it's been all defense and all stick work for True to get this lead. Yeah, we told you, Safa in that EMB camp, which has four members in the Ultimate League. EMB so far, 0-2 against True with only 12 points in two games. And so far in this game, Safa with only two points. True has been playing some of the best defense we've seen all season long. Julio. <laughs> and, for, and for those that don't know, when we say EMB and Todd Madden, there's crews. These are crews in Madden. These are the guys you surround yourself with, that you practice with, that you know, you share knowledge with, and you know, you got to keep that circle isolated in a game of like Madden because it's a one on one type sport. There's only one champion, so there's oftentimes you'll get matched up with the guys that are in your crew. They'll know your tendencies, so you got to keep a tight knit, close of friends that you know you can trust and battle with. Them. That's what those are. And it's true, a part of that top Madden crew, and Safa, part of that EMB crew, which has been around forever. Second and eight. Safa needs something on this drive. He's been a turnover machine in the first half. I said it before, I'll say it again. You got to take care of the onion or it's going to make you cry. Oh, my goodness. And True just continues to click on. And even if he can't get the interception, he's moving his defender into position to just be able to interact with the receiver, cause some sort of traffic penalty. 
and just put himself in position to make some sort of a play. It might not happen every time, but he's doing all that he can. And very impressive. Caught by Harrison along the boundary at the 41. <laughs> That'll give him a fresh set of downs. And if you're Safa, I think that's who you need to go to is Marvin Harrison, who has the crispiest route running and hands on your team. Probably going to give you the best chance to make those catches in traffic. Get that hit stick in the backfield. He had pulled the left guard, Gerald Hawkins, but Hawkins couldn't find a block. Walker gets blown up in the backfield. Mariota to Walker. That's Delaney. <coughs> that's why I get first names sometimes with this team. Herschel, Delaney. Walker, Texas Rangers, got to be out there somewhere. Chuck Norris. Hey, if you make a Chuck Norris item, <laughs> better watch out. Talking about spinning crane kicks. 99 toughness. Up. I like how he checked on the flats on that last play. You need to just take what Cruz giving you. There's a good read, though. And Grant able to hold on. He's had a lot of drops today from his wide receiver core. This time holds on at the 27. Keep in mind, Drew has no idea what's going on in that Tweez chaos game. For all he knows, Tweez is up 24-0 <laughs> over there. And he needs to really win this game. A lot of pressure on Drew, even still. Of course, the, I mean, the other thing that's here is these guys are battling for seeds. Also trying to secure the bag for that $1,000. Double box action, 17 nothing on the left. Chaos down there in the red zone again. Oh, it's me. I'm telling you, every time we checked in on this game, Chaos either scoring a touchdown or deep into the red zone. Tweez is already back in New Orleans. He's, he's at the crib. He's having he's having some gumbo. Thought the young Grizzly would go all out with the season on the line, but just not working out for him. Those guys had a hell game to start the season between each other. Where Chaos kicked five field goals. Lost in overtime. 13-2 over here on the right in the red zone as well. Safa gets a block. Can he get to the edge? No. It's a big drive here for Safa. He can turn this into a touchdown. Really start putting the pressure on Drew's, you know, slow, methodical offense. Third and goal at the six for Chaos. Hands it off up the middle. He's going to have to settle for three. Second and goal on the right from the eight. Nothing for Safa there. That's going to bring up third and goal from the nine now. Goes down as a sack. Second of the day for True. Yeah, Safa just can't turn the ball over here. Even if you get held to a field goal, it's still a one possession ball game. Deep in the third, almost identical situations time-wise as Chaos goes up 20 to nothing. Empty backfield. <laughs> Throws it high and knocked away. Renfro there on the coverage. You got to kick You got to kick the three. Yeah, he's going to Intrude's defense is just lurking around all over the field. <laughs> it's a one-possession game. Those guys are hungry on it. I don't know what type of pep talk he gave those virtual players, but they out there breaking on the ball. They're fighting. This will go to the 25. And he'll lay down at the 34. Smart. Not willing to risk the biscuit. Yeah, smart by true. You got a low overall player with the rock in his hand. You just want to avoid the big hit. So you go into that give up animation. That, that's a mechanic in the game. You just hold both the left trigger and the right trigger. You tap that X button. I mean, best case scenario, you gain three or four more yards. Not worth the risk. Since there's no injuries, it's not as much about 
protecting the player as much as it is about just protecting him from the big hit so he doesn't fumble. So second and nine. Eight-point game. See if Safa can lock up one time. Try to get out of the pocket, but Von Miller able to bring down Steve Young. Yeah, and th this has been <coughs> where Drew struggled the most all season in these third and long situations. We've seen him convert some, but we've also seen him have a lot of trouble here. His offense isn't really built for this. You see him still in a three tight end set, so the run heavy set. See what he's got cooked up on this third and 12. Early in the season, true one, 34 to seven. On a slew of turnovers, he's done that again today. And I think that's the lay of game. That'll march him back five. It's gonna be third and 17. Maybe didn't have the look he wanted. Didn't want to burn one of those timeouts yet. Doesn't know what's going on between Chaos and Tweez. Most likely, True is already in the playoffs. That holds up over there. But he doesn't know that. He thinks he's got to win. Ball here. He's got room. Gurley. <laughs> he's got a game update. Well, guys, Tweez doing everything he can to make this thing a ball game here, just shrugging off defensive linemen, playmakering up the field, Rico, finding the open man. He's going to keep fighting till it's over. And then he was able to finish things off inside the 10. Touchdown pass, making it 20-7, to 7, about 20 seconds left in the third quarter. All right, so two possessions over there. That one's far from over. Still the fourth quarter to play. This one is 13-5. to 5. True trying to hold on, work the clock, but Safa is fighting. And over here on the Tweez and Chaos game, we got 11 seconds left, ball at the 48. A second and seven for Chaos. Got to play to win here. I know you're eliminated. Got to play to win. Can't play to, to try to hold the lead here. You need more points. Got a feeling like he needs, at least needs a field goal. But the thing is, with Tweez's offense struggling the way it is, you, you can't give up points on offense. That's you right. Chaos throws some pick sixes. And as a matter of fact, that's how we let Tweez back in the game earlier in the season when they played. That's a great point. You, you know, you definitely got to try to put it together on offense, but you have to be smart and protect that rock. Your, your best Alex Smith impersonation. Make a lot of money. It's <laughs> <laughs> not a bad well, he's not to, He's not to the Jimmy G level, but uh, both those guys are doing pretty good. At the end of the third, 20 to 7 between Chaos and Tweez. And Musafa Jones trailing 13 to 5 to True. Well, the start of the fourth quarter between True and Musafa Jones. Jones already in to the playoffs. True controls his own destiny. A win will get him in. Uh, and also a tweezed loss will get him in. So fourth and 11. That was the scenario at the end of the third, and he's going to punt it away. Wow. This is going to give Safa a chance to... He's going to use a timeout. If I'm true, I, the way you've been playing defense, you've been stinge mode Mac out there. I wouldn't mind just punting this rock and getting that defense back out on the field. You're backed up on your own 32. Make Safa move the ball. Isn't that, if he stops you and you're on your own 32, he only needs a couple of big plays, which he's capable of getting, but a whole drive... A lot less likely. Uses a timeout. Hopefully that won't come back to bite him here in the fourth. Oh, this is interesting. This is an interesting call. Needs 11. Has time. Steps oh, and throws, man. and Richardson hauls it in for the first down. Oh, so when you got a hottie dotty cooked up like that, why not go for it on fourth and 12? I'm sorry for even doubting you, True. That got a butt naked, wide open. It was all about the blocking up front, giving him time for that route. Hey, Develop across the field. He's six for six in the passing game. It's 
So first and ten. He's going to run that clock. Still a one possession game. Remember, Safa blocked an extra point that gave him two of his five points. Right now, it should be 14 to three. And True has had EMB's numbers. You see that right there, RG, 59 to seven this season from playing guys from, from just, excuse me, 59 to 17. And playing guys from EMB. Yeah, and the EMB guys who played this season, he played Safa Jones earlier in the year. Played Joke as well, beat him, only held Joke to five points. And the other EMB guys we got in the Ultimate League is the defending club champion for the Washington Redskins, Ghost. And also, the young runner, Mr. Pitch himself, I'm Stevie J. It's going to be exciting over there in the Elite uh, Conference. Here in the Legend Conference. Safa's already in. True trying to join him in the playoffs. X is wide open. Cut. And Ingram picks it off the turf at the 16. He's 7 for 7 for 126 yards. That's just going to be a huge play right there to really put yourself in field goal range. If you're true now, you can just run this ball, kill that clock. I mean, you got to run it three times here in a row and just kill that clock and be willing to take the field goal. Should not pass the ball at all if you're true here. Got to be three run plays. Look at him, he's doing the right thing, killing that play clock. You see him in the top right all the way down for two to one seconds. Stretches it with Gurley. I'll pick up a couple, make it. Starting with a kick lock. Second and seven at the 13. Still can get a first down. Down at the six yard line. Stretches it. Gurley leaning toward the 10, and that's where they'll mark it. Third and five as Safa uses another timeout. Needs a turnover at this point. Or heaven forbid, another block kick. Back to Gurley. Gurley going to get to the edge. He's going to get the first down and more. Touchdown, Gurley. <laughs> Hi, Mom. Hi, Mom. <laughs> you got to love that from Eli Clayton from Woodland Hills, California. <laughs> and he said it. He said, hey, if you get a chance to give me shout outs, he said, shout out my brother Ahmad and my mom Erin. So. There it was, he's waving hi to you as he's balling out on the virtual gridiron. Mama True and Brother True. Gosh. Said his main goal with the Ultimate League was to make his family proud. It had nothing to do with the score. <clears throat> it was everything to do with how he handles himself in this season. And he's been phenomenal here late. And this is a, a young man that you know, he had some trouble keeping his emotions in check earlier in his year. He would get frustrated with seeing him, you know, bang his hand against the chair even before. And, you know, now you see him, he is just matured phenomenally. Even in his interviews, he's so well-spoken. You put him in high-pressure situations against Dubby, he doesn't fall for the bait. And you know what? He was able to finally get over that hump and beat Dubby. And it looks like he's going to clinch his spot for the playoffs and ultimate league. Really proud of that young man as we watch him grow up over these last two years to a phenomenal John Madden football player. Used to get so deep in his feels that you'd have to get a ladder to get him out of there. But now holding them down like a fat kid on a blanket. Here's third and 25 <laughs> as Jackson. <clears throat> Let's get a game update. Well, a huge pick by Chaos set up this touchdown run from 39 yards out, effectively putting the nail in the coffin of Tweez's ultimate league season, Rico. And Chaos has ended with a bang. Let's go! 27-7, two minutes left. So, Chaos was eliminated earlier in the season from the playoff contention, and he takes Tweez down with him. And it's interesting how 
with Tweez and Chaos, two of the guys that had short, two of the guys that had some of the most success <laughs> early on in the season. At least Tw Tweez won a challenger before the match. Yeah, early in the majors. Early not, not our season here, but early in the year. A lot of their success and just didn't translate to later in the season during this Ultimate League. Just not hot at the right time. You know, all the polling we've done and the even the players we've asked, and of course our talented crew here, if you had to pick two guys you, you maybe before the season started that you th thought wouldn't get there, those were the two guys because we really didn't know what we were going to get out of them. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Oh, my goodness. And Gurley, why not add to it Superman down to the 15? True stick work is just phenomenal. Just sticking to his game plan throughout the entire game. Went for it on that big fourth down, converted when he needed to, played lights out defense. I mean, only five points for Safa in his three games now against EMB. He's only allowed 17 points. And Safa only put up 12 in two games against them. And then you had Joke with only five. Well, we called him True Boy. Now he's a man, and he's down on bending knee for the win. Yeah. You know, you watch Game of Thrones, it's not always a good thing to bend the knee. But here in the world of John Madden football, when you bend the knee, that's usually a, a good sign. Yeah, victory, that's the reason they call it the victory formation. 20 to 5. Let's catch the last few plays of Chaos and Tweez. It's Tweez. Not willing to go off into the night. Cuts it to a two-possession game. Two timeouts, 127 to go. And I'm chaos. I burned a timeout right there. You don't have your hands team on. Don't, don't play around with this. Yeah, that's a good point, Scott. You, don't, you can't take those three timeouts with you outside of this game. Couldn't hurt to get the hands team out there. And I'm Pick telling you, he oh! somehow picks it up. He says shut up about the hands he team. He fumbled it, though. He fumbled <laughs> it and then picked it up. Oh, it hit off his hands, good. and then he scooped. That was crazy. <laughs> I would have been interested to see the young Grizzly get that. Still has two timeouts. It's going to be offsides, free play. See the replay of this touchdown. Randall Cunningham, dippity dot for six. And then it hits the hands. It's loose. Oh, man. Number and 21. Scoop. You step up right there on special teams, scoop that up off the ground. I'm telling the youngsters out there, you got to call timeout. You didn't have your hands team on the field. It almost cost you. Then it almost went to the cripple. <laughs> Nick, it's normally, I mean, if it doesn't hit off your hands, you get the animation where you go down, you secure it. Went off his hands, and then he almost scooped it up and scored. Oh, man. I forget how poor. Uh, FMB monster in that club championship. Oh boy. That up and onside kick, unfortunately, what a rough way for your season to end. And then Primetime does another onside kick. Monster recovers it. Primetime hit sticks him right away. He had a feel for FMB monster on that one. But we Probably still there. wakes up in the middle of the night, cold sweats. Best believe next season he'll, he'll be out here for, with, with a vengeance. He's a two time 49ers club champion. Gonna run this all the way down. Tweez just not even, not about that timeout life. Yeah, like you said, I think he's just ready to get back to New Orleans. And that's how the game will end, 27-14. And those are the two guys that will not be moving on out of the Legend Conference. Chaos getting another win, though. Putting another $1,000 in his pocket. 27-14 the final, and then true. Took care of business. He's in the playoffs. He'll join Safa, but not before he beat him twice this season by a combined score of 54 to 12. Let's go to Adrian Lawrence, who's standing by with True. True, congratulations on the win. You are now in the playoffs. What does that mean to you? Oh, it means everything to me. Uh... You know, I felt comfortable with my game plan going into this game, and uh, everything worked out. And in this game in particular, you had a pretty strong game in the air, and you're usually 
kind of known for your game on the ground. What's different? Well, I'm more comfortable in that offense. I've been running it for months. So uh, just going back to it, you know, kind of like a good change up at the end. So uh, it's been working out for me. And the final game of the regular season for you will be up against Problem, who's part of the top Madden scene, just as you are. What's your outlook? Uh, we had a hell game the second week, actually, and uh, I'm just looking forward to playing them again. Uh, hopefully I get the victory this time. And in terms of EMB, Ed, you had mentioned at the beginning of the season kind of that they can't beat you, and we've seen this again. Your thoughts? I didn't say they can't beat me. I just said uh, I can, you know, uh, contain their bunch. Uh, but they're, they're all good competitors. Everyone here is a good competitor, and uh, uh, I might play them again in the playoffs. All right. Well, congratulations. Thank you. To you, Dave and Rico.